This video is to show you how to install Rocket Point of Sale. You have either downloaded a file from our website or you were sent a file on a thumb drive, several files on a thumb drive. We suggest you make a folder called POS, copy the files from the thumb drive or the downloads into the POS folder. One of the files you'll have is called Rocket POS version 15.zip. What you want to do is double click on this, double click on setup, say yes to the install if this comes up on your computer, and you're going to need a password. Now I'm going to close the screen behind us, put in the password, say OK. And then you're going to say next, read the terms, agree to them, leave this as C colon nickel. That's the folder you want to install this in. Install. It copies the files over. And close your background again. Close this. You may or may not need to restart your computer. You probably do not, but to be safe, you may want to. So now we'll bring up our folders again. Go to our C drive. And there will be a file there, a folder there called Nickel. Go into Nickel and it has most of the program files that you need to run the Nickel. I call it the nickel. It's a rocket point of sale. We used to call it nickel a long time ago. So the rocket point of sale. First thing you want to do, if you click on type, it brings certain files to the top. It brings your EXEs up. First thing you want to do is run DBC make, which makes the databases. Double click on it. Agree. Continue. Create the database. Say yes. It's going to create all the files you want. Now at this point, it's going to ask you for a city that you live in. And I'm just putting whatever in here. You would want to put your information in there. Post it. Yes. Now at this point, if you're unlocking the point of sale, you would click here. But if you're just wanting to do a demo of and with the data already in there, I'll show you how to do that first. That data can be removed with just one keystroke later on. So you don't have to worry about it. So close this. Now you will find a zip file in your folder down here. Double click that. Do a control A, the zip file's open now. Can do a control A. Do a control C to copy it. Go back to the nickel folder and do a control V, as in Victor. It'll copy the demo data in. Just say yes. It's copying the demo data in. Now, once again, we're going to go to our nickel folder. We have the EXEs at the top. Double click on tracker. You can double or you can click on this, make it go away. And since we have the data um, demo data in there, click on main. User codes can be temp. And the password is temp with capital T, lowercase e, m, p, one, two, three. Now it's going to ask you, it's going to create a backup file. The data does that every time. It's going to ask you now to make a new password. So we're going to put in the old one, capital T, lowercase e, m, p, one, two, three. I suggest doing capital T, e, m, p, one, two, four. Capital T, E, M, P, one, two, four. That's your new password. The system will check. It's acceptable. And now you have the point of sale running. I'll close this background again. 
and here's your point of sale. We have put in it a, a test point of sale name with the Clark Jr. samples. And once you unlock it with your real name, then that this here changes to your name and whatever clerk's on. If you want to do a quick sale, come into Pro Invoice, type an A, enter, brings up ashtray, process, up, turn off the printer, close out, and you've done your first sale. Okay. And you have all your features in here, which we go through in the manual, which is on your thumb drive. Your company setup. If you're in company setup, you're the only person to be in the system if you're on a network. And you exit out. First time you exit out, it's going to come up with your uh, closeout for your Z readings. You can turn the screen off if you don't do Z reading, so you're not bothered by it every time. Close, and you're done. That's how you install the point of sale. Also, if you're having a problem, you can call our tech support, and they'll walk you through it. Thank you.